Good morning, my pretties, and welcome back after, I hope you all had a wonderful Easter break. Uh, ours was very busy, even though we didn't go anywhere. We did a lot of tidying up, cleaning up, and dunging out. So we finally got rid of our storage shed that we have been renting for way too long. So now our garage is full again, even though we had just cleaned it out, but that's okay. I've got lots of time to get it all cleaned up and out. I hope you're ready to go. We've got lots of fun things in store this week. So um, ongoing, we have, of course, reading and your reading log. If you could please write down how much, what you're reading, how many pages, how long you've read, and then we'll submit that um, to Google Classroom. And that format is, is your own choice. Um, I'm letting you take responsibility for what that looks like because I know you can manage that. And um, also with that, we will have, most of you have registered your book with me, your April book. And so hopefully you're doing well with that. Remember today is April 20th. So you have 10-ish, not quite 10 days to get that book finished up, depending on where you're at with that. Um, please make sure that you're reading that. Again, check your email every day. I'm sending different little um, tutorials and other stuff and sometimes I do need to get in touch with you. So if you could please check your email at least once a day, I would appreciate that. And if you could please continue to go on Read Theory, I'd love to see you do three of those, um, or be on there three times a week and do about three every time that you're on. So close to 15, 20 minute session of the Read Theory. And I will be post posting three blogs a week. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, I'll be putting up blogs. If you could please read one of those and comment on them, I would really appreciate that. Uh, just a little more reading and writing, um, hopefully in a fun way. So I'm posing some different questions, talking about some different stuff um, <clears throat> that I'm doing or that affects me. And I wanna know how it is affecting you as well. So if you could please do that as well. And then if you have time, we also have that typing.com to work on. So you can take a look at that. Today, our, this week's ELA assignment is a paragraph again. So I would love for you guys to go on that paragraph drop down box on functional writing under ELA. There is a, t there is a video tutorial. There is some extra um, worksheets in there that if you wish you could print off and work on those are not necessary though but what is necessary is for you to write me a paragraph about what a day a typical day looks like on during COVID-19 for you while you're staying at home doing remote learning from home while mom and dad may or may not be home with you and what that what that looks like for the for you and for the whole family what your day kind of typically consists of so now remember it should be easy to get your five to eight sentences in we need a nice clear topic sentence a clear concluding sentence and then some um, body sentences in the morning I do this in the afternoon I do this, in the evening I do this, there's five right there. Quite Should be quite easy to write for you. I would like to see between five and eight sentences because you are grade six, I know you can manage that. Um, and that's about it. I will be contacting you by email and please always check out the blog page on my website and check our agenda page on our website as well and email me with any questions or concerns anytime. I um, typically respond to those first thing in the morning and I try to get back to you within 24 hours. Thanks. Have a lovely day.